Hey, I'm Bill Marion on Virginia Beach, and this is a Nose for Life. Our YouTube channel has grown quite a bit over the last several months, and we're so grateful. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome, and I hope you enjoy this video. Virginia Beach is a fun and exciting place, and for over 100 years, it's been the perfect destination for people to get away and enjoy the sun, sand, and surf. In this video, I'm going to be sharing 10 crazy facts about Virginia Beach and much more. Now, I didn't come up with this information all by myself, meaning I didn't make it up as I went along, not this time anyway, but I had plenty of help from all kinds of websites, so check out the links in the description. We want to know you your Virginia Beach facts that I left out of this video, so be sure to add your Virginia Beach facts in the comments. I love going to the beach. Whether it's California, Nicaragua, Georgia, Florida, or here in Virginia Beach, I love going to the beach. But have you ever been to the beach during the off season? I mean, it's October 2018. By the way, if you're watching this in the future, thank you so much for watching. And you know, you don't think about the beach a lot during those times, especially here at Virginia Beach, when it's probably gonna be pretty cold. It's kinda chilly tonight for me anyway. But when I think of the beach, a lot of times I think of southern beaches like down in Florida or Southern California or the islands but I've never been to Virginia Beach and this is kind of a cool thing but it is the off season now some people would say that when the streets are empty here at Virginia Beach that it's dead that it's not happening but I'm 44 years old when it looks like this I see opportunity for peace and quiet and tranquility But while we're here, why not talk about 10 crazy facts about Virginia Beach? Number 10. Lots of people. It may come as a surprise, but Virginia Beach is Virginia's most populous city with a population of around 452,745. While Richmond is Virginia's state capital, it's only about half as populated as Virginia Beach. But it's not like all of those people living there are hanging out on the ocean singing Jimmy Buffett songs. In fact, you can live in Virginia Beach and still have a 30-minute drive to the ocean. Virginia Beach is the name of the city itself, and it encompasses quite a bit of land that's not actually on the beach at all. After all, it's close to 500 square miles, making it larger than Washington, D.C. and even Manhattan. And there is plenty of industry to support the population, too. Virginia Beach has everything from billion-dollar corporations and defense contractors to mom-and-pop shops on the beach. Virginia Beach also includes 23,000 acres of farmland and agricultural development. Number 9. The Longest Beach in the World Well, sort of. Virginia Beach holds the Guinness World Book of Record for the longest stretch of Pleasure Beach in the world. Virginia Beach is comprised of the Virginia Beach Resort Area, Chesapeake Bay Beach, and the Sandbridge Beach. Add all this together and you get 35 miles of pleasurable beaches, making Virginia Beach the longest stretch of Pleasure Beach in the world. But locals will tell you that each of these three beaches have a different vibe. If you're interested in learning more about the differences between these three beaches, I've placed a special link in the description. While this might not be a crazy fact, Virginia Beach is kind of known for its boardwalk that was originally built back in 1888. This boardwalk ranks fifth on America's favorite boardwalk list. And fifth is pretty good. Uh, no, really, fifth isn't bad at all. Number 8. Snowy Beaches if you're planning a beach vacation to Virginia Beach, you'll want to keep the weather in mind. On average, Virginia Beach receives 45 inches of rain per year, which is a lot higher than the U.S. average of 39 inches per year. And it snows. Virginia Beach averages 6 inches of snow per year, which isn't much compared to the U.S. average of 26 inches per year, but quite a bit if you're thinking about a weekend at the beach during the winter. But if you have to have sunshine to enjoy the ocean, Virginia Beach enjoys about 213 sunny days a year, which is a little higher than the national average. It's like a disco dolphin, you know what I'm saying? Just... Number 7. Mount Trashmore There are two man-made mountains at Virginia Beach, and these mountains were created by combining clean soil and, you guessed it, trash. The landfill is considered one of the largest in the world, and it's pretty amazing that they've turned it into a 165-acre park that serves the community as a place of leisure and play. You can go hiking, kayaking, picnicking, and even skating. There are volleyball courts, horseshoe pits, public restrooms, seasonal concession stands, and much, much more. Check out the link in the description for more information. Number 6. 
King Neptune. On Virginia Beach's boardwalk, there is a 12-ton bronze sculpture of Neptune. No, not that Neptune, this Neptune. This sculpture of King Neptune is 34 feet tall and it was sculpted by Paul de Pasquale. It's a pretty amazing sculpture to say the least, and there's even a festival series at Virginia Beach that's been going on since 1974 called, you guessed it, the Neptune Festival of Virginia Beach. You can find this sculpture on Virginia Beach's boardwalk overlooking Neptune Park at 31st Street. And here's a possible bonus fact. Virginia Beach is sometimes referred to as Neptune City. I guess that would be kind of interesting to have a nickname like Neptune City, especially if you have a giant statue of Neptune on your boardwalk facing the ocean. But there happens to already be a city in New Jersey that's also located on the water with the official name of Neptune City. But they don't have a 12-ton sculpture, so, well, you know. Hey, I just want to take a few seconds to welcome back our subscribers. We make videos just for you, and if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll consider subscribing and hitting that like button and clicking the bell for notifications. I hope you'll consider being a part of our growing community. Now, let's get back to the list. Man, beaches are noisy. I mean, what with the roar of the ocean and the wind, but here at Virginia Beach, there are other reasons why it's noisy on the beach. Number five, protected beaches. The state of Virginia is home to 27 military bases. Each branch of service has at least one base in the state of Virginia. But Virginia Beach wins the prize. There are 86,000 members of the armed forces serving on bases at Virginia Beach, making it the highest concentration of military personnel, not counting the Pentagon. The Virginia Beach Hampton Roads area is home to nine military installations, including the world's largest naval base, and it's the home of the Atlantic Fleet. Number four. First, First Landing State Park marks the location of the first English settlers who established the first elective government in English America before pushing up the James River to establish Jamestown, the first permanent English settlement in the Americas. First Landing State Park is the most visited state park in Virginia, and there's probably good reason for that. First Landing State Park is a great place to go hiking and enjoy 19 miles of hiking trails and guided kayaking tours. They have cabins, camping, picnicking, swimming, boating, and much more. But here's a little fact within a fact. First Landing State Park is located near a military training center that trains all year in all kinds of weather. Visitors to First Landing State Park's website are provided with this special note. Park guests may experience unusual sights and loudness. Training maneuvers usually but not always cease by 10 p.m. These activities pose no risk to park guests. Anyone else think that it would be pretty cool to visit First Landing State Park just to experience the unusual sights and loudness? I think it would be pretty cool. Number 3 the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. This is the second time I've used the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel in a crazy fact video. The first time was in a top 10 crazy fact video about the state of Virginia. And if you want to watch that now, just click on the top right hand corner of your screen. Anyway, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel is the largest bridge tunnel complex in existence. This tunnel is no joke. Check out these amazing images. Number two, the greatest city in the United States. Really? Adam McCann, a financial writer for WalletHub, ranked Virginia Beach as the number one large city in which to live in 2017 and the second best large city in 2018. WalletHub compared 62 cities with a population over 300,000 across the following factors, affordability, economy, education, and health, quality of life, and safety. Virginia Beach also finished up first among big cities in specific categories like having the highest home ownership rate, lowest population living in poverty, and the lowest crime rate. When I think of surfing, I don't think of Virginia Beach, but I should because like when we first got here, there were all kinds of surfers still in the ocean. They were just putting everything up. It was pretty awesome. Number one, a lighthouse. 
The Cape Henry Lighthouse is the first federally funded public work project of the United States of America. It's also the fourth largest lighthouse in America. George Washington, who you probably know from the $1 bill, who also happened to be the first president of the United States, authorized this project. The lighthouse was built with the same kind of sandstone used to build Washington, D.C., and it cost $17,700 to build. The lighthouse that's registered as a National Historic Landmark operated for almost 100 years before it was replaced. The lighthouse now serves as a tourist attraction, but it's currently being restored and it'll be back open to the public in 2019. Coming to the beach during the off season is actually a pretty cool idea because the rates are great during the off season. So maybe you pull the kids out of school, I'm just saying for a few days and sneak away for a quick vacation. Or maybe you and the missus head down to Virginia Beach or your local beach for a nice getaway. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell for notifications. Oh, and be sure to check out these other videos. I'm Bill Marion and this is A Nose for Life. So far, what I love about Virginia Beach, the people are great, they're friendly, they're warm, but we see that everywhere we go. It's the same here at Virginia Beach. Everybody's very welcoming, it's a lot of fun, it's a great atmosphere, lots of places to stay and lots of places to eat. But again, it's the off season, so finding a table, pretty easy.